So today I'm here with Jimmy and I'm here with the newest aquarium co-op <laughs> employee, Lizzie. In their new place, they can only have tanks, what, up to five gallons five in size. Five gallons, yes. That's got to be super depressing after having all the other tanks. It is, indeed. I mean, they've even started putting things outside to I hold know. water. <laughs> so I offered to Lizzie that um, she could take this tank, do anything she wanted with it. I'm looking to rehome the puffers and the other fish we can deal with. Let's just say we don't have to worry about the expenses. <laughs> so where would we start? What do you want to do? Well... Since Dean has some other beautiful tanks on this rack that have big pieces of wood in the center, I thought it might be cool to do double island scape. Wood coming in the middle from both sides, mm -hmm. and that way we could cover up well, you should probably talk about the way you're going to plumb this. So this oh, is yeah. just a bulkhead fitting. Uh, this is actually uh, one of the co-op large. So that'll go right into the canister. And then up here, we're returning with a DIY oh, wow. black spray yeah. bottle. Look how clean that looks. Right. Yeah. This overflow is actually for our auto water change system. Okay. Yeah, so, that makes a lot of sense. So that yeah. this was already in the tank. The rest of it is all been added. And there's already a video on how to build one of these on the Green yeah, Co-op channel. There is. So. There is. Yeah. This is so cool. <laughs> so I have three different kinds of crypts in here because crypts are my favorite because they're really easy to grow. They grow in low light, they grow in high light. They're super prolific. They'll send out tons of leaves and runners. And I think they're just a really easy, easy going, but yet really impactful plant. I love the texture of their leaves. They have kind of crinkly leaves, the ones that I chose. So I'm planting the dwarf chain sword right now. That's mm -hmm. this guy here. And then my favorite Anubius ever. The little petite. Nana petite. This one's fun because it looks great in any size tank. Taking this and going to the fish room. Just keep Wait, that there. do I need to attach the thingy? To Not yet. No. I'll warn you when I turn oh. it on. Thanks. <laughs> 77 right here. You might still have to watch it when it first comes on. Because I don't know. Okay. What a fun device. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go turn the water on. Uh, you do have a shut off if something goes wrong. You're the best. Oh, <laughs> that's not bad. That won't hurt it too much, will it? No, that's perfect. Shout out to whoever made this thing. Yeah, so if you're out there somewhere and you see this <laughs> and you made it, please comment. Message me. <laughs> so while that's happening, I'm going to put the CO2 thing back Okay. Up. Good idea. Dean is breaking out some CO2 stuff. Look at all those fittings, Jimmy. You can put anything together. Here you go. Here you go. Oh my gosh. This looks way old school. Yeah, it does. It, it looks like this though. Another one we have. The little thing that hangs over the top. You yeah. Know Yours is made out of glass. Yeah. I bent these out of plastic. Oh my no gosh. Way. 15 years ago. You just yeah. put the drop checker fluid in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they only work for rimless tanks. Yep. Yeah. Well, this was five millimeter, six millimeter. Are you ready to start flowing? Yep. We need to adjust the spray Yeah. Oh, this stuff just go right down the drain. Videos like this right here is what we do all the time. We put out a video every week that's educational. We also do a live stream that's educational and a Q&A session. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next one. So you've already got pictures of the tank now, right, Jimmy? Will Lizzie be proud? I think she would be. <laughs> the plants are still alive, right? Every one of, of these uh, chain swords is sending runners all over the place. The hair grass is 
just barely coming up right there. Coming in, it's coming in over here. So today uh, from the co-op, I got a few fish. Check this out. That is beautiful. Who counted these? Robert. Robert. Yeah, so these are little be. ember tetras. We chose these because of the color. Ready? Here we go. Auto or yeah, auto. Auto sinkless. Oh, Jay, you gotta you gotta get some shots of this. Look at those babies. Okay, here we go. You ready? Yep. Wow. What is this tank? This is the planted tank that Lizzie from Aquarium Co-op. That's right. I let her take this tank over and do anything she let wanted. Let her or made her? I offered to let her. And she took me up on the offer. I think you're going to sit at your desk and watch this tank a lot, actually. No, I just sit on the floor and just lean back. All right, all right. 